Hi, welcome back to Creative Tuesdays with Liz. I am really excited again to be back um, as we come together and create. And I think today's project is going to be really fun. I think you'll enjoy it and it's just going to look super cool. Um, we are going to be creating a guitar art kind of piece. So you will need some thick construct, thick paper like cardstock or even if you wanted to use like a cereal box and cut your templates out of a piece of cardboard that would be fine um, or just cardstock would do fine you'll need that um, I did provide a guitar template with a the guitar neck and the guitar body so that if you do want to trace that and cut it out on your own you can or you can draw your own guitar shape You'll also need scissors and construction paper and uh, some coloring utensils like crayons, markers, colored pencils, or whatever you like to use best. So we will start with getting our guitar drawn, traced, and cut out. So it'll be cut out in your two separate kind of pieces here. And we're not going to glue them together just yet. We're going to get it all decorated and then we're going to glue it together. Um, so you can think about how you want to color your guitar. It can be any way. It does not have to look like a guitar, that you, a real one that you would see out somewhere. Um, so it can be absolutely anything. So you can color it with whatever your favorite coloring utensils are. And I just want you to get the whole thing colored. So I think I'm going to put some stripes on this one. I'll color in some stripes. Or even if you wanted to, you could get a piece of colored construction paper and trace your template on that and cut it out and then glue it to your construction, your cardboard or your card stock or whatever that you've cut your template out of to you. So you can do it that way um, or you can just color. So anyway, anyway, there's no right or wrong and I don't want you to get stressed out uh, thinking about what your project is going to end up looking like or anything like that. I want you to just enjoy it. Um, also, if when you get ready to decorate after you get it put together and you can think of some other embellishments maybe that you wanted to add to it, like maybe some buttons or some glitter, or maybe you wanted to use some real string, um, like some fishing line or yarn. Um, you can do it that way, or you can cut some paper into very thin strips. But yeah, I really just want you to enjoy this process and enjoy what you're creating. I hope everyone has had just a good time these past few days, this past week, and things have been going good for you and everything. And when you finish with your guitar, please, please, please take a picture of it and post it on social media, whether that's Instagram or Facebook, and um, tag us, the Lancaster County Council of the Arts, in it so that we can see what each other's doing. That's a, that's a fun thing to do, just to know that, you know, there's people around that are working on the same project that you are. And they're, they'll all look so different. I mean, we could have 100 people doing this, and they would turn out 100 different ways. So it'll be very neat. But yeah, so I want you just to decorate and color your whole guitar piece. And like I said, this can be any way that you want to. It can be any way. I'm putting some stripes on mine here. And it's getting to be the fall season, and it is feeling so good outside. I love to go outside when fall time hits. It just feels so nice. It's 
Some other interesting things you might could look up if you um, had time later and you wanted to do some research on some other guitar art, you could, um, you know, you could Google search for some famous guitar paintings. Um, one in particular um, is by Pablo Picasso. It was painted during his blue period. So um, I would encourage you to look that up and, and check that out whenever you, if you have a chance or you're able to. I'll put a few more stripes here on my guitar. And yeah, like I said, if you wanted to make it be a solid color, like that you cut out of construction paper, you can do that and glue it down and glue it down. And so you can be thinking about some of the other parts of a guitar that we could add to it. Um, you know, like so obviously the big hole where it creates the acoustic sounds. Um, so you can get construction paper for that, a black piece of construction paper, cut you a circle. Um, you could use anything else for that. Um, if you had a really big button, um, you could use that. Um, so we'd be, we'll be thinking of a part for that. Um, the pick guard, um, the part on the, on the side. So all kind of different parts to a guitar. And this will not be anything, an instrument that you can play and make music with. This is just only going to be a, a piece of visual art for you to have that you could put up somewhere um, or anything or just give it to somebody who might be having a rough day and just needs a little pick-me-up. But yeah, I want you to make sure you get your whole guitar decorated and just make it look really good any way that you want to. I sure have never seen anyone playing a guitar that had these stripes on it like this. It was made out of stripes. But maybe perhaps there might be somewhere. But yeah, so it does not have to look like a real guitar would look. You can use your imagination, come up with anything. So you'll color your guitar body part and then also the neck of your guitar. So you can put, draw your lines on there for like the different frets and bars and stuff there. You don't have to do that. You could color it to look like a candy cane if you wanted to. But you can do this absolutely anyway. When you do get finished coloring um, your both of your guitar pieces, we are going to glue them together. And you're going to where the neck is. We're not going to glue it so much like right at the top of the um the body part of the guitar, I want you to bring it down like maybe an inch or an inch and a half and we're going to glue it down this far. So it doesn't have to be exact an inch or an inch and a half, but if you need to do it and draw a line for where you'll place it, you can do that. But just kind of somewhere along those lines, not right at the tippy tippy top, but just somewhere a little bit down. All right, so I have got the guitar neck glued on. Then, like I said, you can get your different pieces of colored construction paper. You can cut different parts for your guitar, um, or you can glue things on. Like I said, if you have buttons or um, just anything that you can think of that if 
your mom or your grandma or anybody has some maybe sewing supplies laying around maybe they have some different stuff some thread or just something maybe that you could use um to to decorate it with if they they say that's okay or if you wanted to use some glitter you could do that anyway so I've got that glued on and I have just cut out a circle from black construction paper. That's what I'm going to use to just glue down on top of my guitar. So I'll put some glue down. And it can be liquid glue or stick glue. I like stick glue. Well, I guess for different things. For this particular project, I would... I choose to use stick glue. It's just kind of easier and less messy and dries quicker. So we'll put that on. And then you can think of the, um, the pick guard piece. That's the side that kind of goes right beside it. Now you can put it on either side, but a right-handed person would play the guitar like this and strum it down. And so the pick guard would be on this side. A left-handed person, so whichever one you would want it to be, it would be on that side, and as you would strum, you'd have it protecting there too. So either side you put this on will be just fine because they go on either side, whether it's a right-handed or a left-handed guitar. So yeah, any way you do this, I don't want you to think that there's a wrong way or you're making yours not look good. Or perhaps maybe you didn't want to put your pick guard right up on um, your the circle piece there and you wanted to kind of make it look more abstract and different pieces of it put together. You can do that too. That is just fine and dandy. So you can do it anyway or you can create a whole bunch of them and different colors and you might could give it to your friend if it's your friend's birthday coming up or something. You could make them a guitar art piece. And then I've also cut in just another rectangle piece. I'm gonna glue down here. This would be the piece where, you know, like we would have the strings coming and we'd have the knobs there and then the strings would be attached to the knobs and then come down here. So I'm gonna glue this down on at the bottom so that when I glue my strings on, they can kind of be attached right here. There we go. Now I did just happen to cut very thin strips for that I'm gonna use it for, for the strings instead of yarn or um, fishing line or anything. So you can do that. You'll wanna have your paper the long way so that you can have the strings being longer. And then just cut some really, really thin strips. You can cut them up there, and those will be like your strings. Or if you wanted to use yarn, you could do that or anything else you can use. But I did cut mine out of paper just to let you know. And I am not going to glue the whole entire piece down. You might want, if you want to, you can. I'm just only going to glue the top and the bottom of it just so that I don't have so much glue all over my whole picture. But that's just a preference of mine. And then I'll put some glue down here. And I probably should have cut my strings a little bit longer but well, I'll make it work. So see, I've got one string glued on there. You can do six, five, three, however many you want your guitar to have, that's what you can put on there. However you want it to be. I'll put a little bit more glue up here. Just 
so that that'll be stuck on there really good. And way back in maybe sometime last year, I really can't remember when, but when we talked about the color wheel um, and the primary colors and that complementary colors are colors that are across, are across from each other on the color wheel, um, I colored this guitar kind of purple, and I chose the strings to be yellow because yellow and purple are complementary colors. So they are across from each other on the color wheel. But so yeah, you'll get your strings glued down, whether they were cut out of paper or their yarn and actual strings. Okay. Make sure those are all glued in place. I really look forward to seeing everybody's guitar art, so I really hope that you um, take a picture of these and, and get them posted so that we can see them. And I found one more string I'm going to glue down. There we go. So there's the guitar. If you wanted to cut some circles or draw to put knobs on the side or use buttons, um, anything uh, extra that you wanted to use to decorate your guitar with would be just great. And I really can't wait to see them. Um, I think it's so neat, so really neat. I like it. Um, I think I might make my niece a guitar for her birthday and, uh, and give her a guitar kind of birthday card and write her a little happy birthday on the back of it. But I hope that you have enjoyed this today, and I look forward to next week as we come together and create a light-up tube frame. You will need um, an empty cardboard tube um, that's just plain, doesn't have any paper or anything on it. You will need your scissors. You'll need some plain paper. You'll need coloring or drawing utensils that you like to use. Um, and like a little battery operated tea light or some little battery operated string lights that you can put inside there um, and some scissors as well because we're going to cut a part out of it to make the frame. I look forward to next week as we come together and create our light up frame. I'll see you then. Thanks.